Excel SmartArt graphics are used to help you illustrate any workflow that you may have. For example, you need to complete a project and you have a bunch of tasks that you want to illustrate graphically, then you can insert one of Excel SmartArt graphics and you can find those by coming up here clicking on the insert tab, going to the illustrations group and clicking on the SmartArt. Brings up a bunch of categories over to the left hand side, select one and then over in the middle go ahead and hover over any one of those samples gives you a name of the sample hierarchy and that one's organization chart click on it gives you a larger preview and the description of what it's used for I'm gonna go ahead and select process and I'm gonna use the basic process here click on that and this one's used to show a progression of steps in a task or process or workflow click OK starts me off with three steps if I need more I'll show you how to add them and I can type those steps either on the shape itself which will insert it within the shape or over here in the text pane it's basically a preference right now for you do you like typing it over in an outline format here in the text pane or right inside the uh, shapes themselves doesn't matter what you type in one updates the other so let's go ahead and get started and let's say I want to create a process for a successful business so the first step in having a successful business is is to enjoy your work. You can see what I type over here updates over in its corresponding shape. Then to get to the next shape, well, at least over here in the uh, text pane, I can either click in the uh, second bullet point or just down arrow on the keyboard and then type in the uh, second perseverance. And then finally, let me just go ahead and click within this shape to show you that you can actually type within the shape. So let's see if my workflow makes sense or my process in order to have a successful business first of all I have to enjoy my work because if I enjoy my work it's not really work right in any case that means I can uh, persevere and keep going and if I enjoy my work and I keep going at it I'll find success now if you have another task in your process flow here that you forgot to add or you need an additional one for example I want to add one in between perseverance and uh, success you can do it one of two ways one way is to go ahead and select either one of these here and then just come up here on its related design tab to the create graphic group and there it is add shape click on its drop down arrow and I can add the shape well let's add it after what I had selected and there it is the other way let me go ahead and hit undo is to go in the text pane click after the uh, last bullet point and then hit enter and it will add a new bullet point and of course you'll find the corresponding blank shape here for the process graphically let's go ahead and type in there you go, there's the workflow. You gotta enjoy your work, persevere, a little bit of luck, you get success. Now what if luck really isn't its own step, it's just a part of another step, but I want it to be displayed? What you can do is, well, with luck selected, come back up here to the create graphic and demote it. If I demote it, it's gonna indent it over here and make it part of perseverance. So demote it, it adds it as the uh, bullet under perseverance. So the workflow says enjoyable work, persevere, and when you persevere you need a little bit of luck to find success and then of course if I want to bump it back out and not have it as part of another uh, step in the process then of course instead of um, demoting it I can go ahead and promote it to its own step the other things that you can find up here within this group is that you can move them up or down so I have luck selected or my cursors flashing within that bullet point I can go ahead and say well move it up and say luck comes first before perseverance you know move them up or down let me go ahead and hit undo and then you can flip your uh, process instead of having success at the end over to the right go ahead and click on right to left and say that you're gonna start off over here to the right and go left as those arrows are pointing in that direction I'm gonna go ahead and hit undo well let's go ahead and add some color gonna come up here to the design tab click on change colors and you got quite a few to choose from if I go ahead and select let's see something more colorful and then how about some of the styles click on the uh, more arrow maybe make it 3d and then with one shape selected I can go ahead and customize just that shape if I want to emphasize luck saying wow without luck your toast your business will never succeed go ahead and uh, come up here on the format tab and click on shape effects you can do a lot to that shape maybe give it a glow I don't know if this is going to work maybe red here or purple click on that and it does draw my eyes more to it so you may find that some of those effects 
will be very helpful when it comes to presenting your workflow to your audience. And then finally, when you click off, of course, the related contextual tabs to the uh, Smart Art graphic disappear. When you select it, pulls them back up. If you close out of the text pane and you want it back up, just come up to the Design tab, Create Graphic, and there it is. Click on it to bring it up, click on it to remove it, click on, and it's back up again. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.